Welcome to Forsyth Tech. My name's Janet Spriggs, and every single day I have the most awesome privilege and honor of serving as the president here at Forsyth Tech. And today I'm so honored and privileged to be able to welcome all of you to our Learn and Earn Apprenticeship Program signing and celebration of our graduates. So we're going to celebrate both our new apprentices as well as celebrating those who have made it through the apprenticeship program and have earned their journey worker certificates. So apprentices and journey workers, let me be the first person to say congratulations. I, I love being the first to tell you this because I'm so in awe of what you've been able to accomplish and I'm so proud of the way that you are beginning your journey to learn while you earn and to prepare for an amazing career in the fields that you've chosen. I heard that we are celebrating 34 new apprentices today and that's our largest signing so far, I think, Danielle. Yes. I can't find Danielle. Yes. There she is, right? Um, and we're celebrating 30 students who have completed their apprenticeships today, too. So there's a lot of celebrating going on today. Um, again, I want to welcome you all here today. I know that I saw a couple of our commissioners today. I believe Dr. Shay Woodbury is with us from Forsyth County Commissioners. Thank you so much for being here. Dr. Woodbury, and I will introduce in just a moment uh, County Commissioner Tanya McDaniel, who also serves on our Board of Trustees. Thank you so much, Ms. McDaniel, for being here today. I think I see Andrea Sheets and Kyle Haney from the Forsyth County. Forsyth County is a huge supporter of both Forsyth Tech, but also of this program in particular. So thank you both so much for being here. Am I missing any elected officials? I, I don't wear my glasses because I'm too vain um, for the pictures, so I want to make sure I'm not missing anyone. Um, I also think I saw Terry Cummins, Cummings from the Greater Winston-Salem, Inc. And Terry, thank you so much for being here. Greater Winston-Salem, Inc. is another amazing partner with Forsyth Tech, with Forsyth County, um, and our workforce development work. And do you all know that just a couple of months ago, they were named as our chamber was named as the National Chamber of the Year. I don't know how well that has gotten out, but they deserve a huge round of applause. It was an incredible honor, and we were up against Phoenix. And the state of, we beat the entire state. <laughs> that's amazing. And that's a testament to the amazing work that Greater Winston-Salem Inc. does for our community. So thank you so much, and thanks for your support today. To our new apprentices, by joining the Learn and Earn Apprenticeship Program, you have truly made a decision and a choice that I know is going to shape your future in ways that I don't know if you've realized yet. I'm sure that those of you that are celebrating the end of this part of your journey would agree with that and would tell your colleagues that they are just starting a program that is going to give them opportunities that they maybe didn't realize were available. It's a chance to immerse yourself both in the real world experience of being an employee and hands-on learning while you're also learning through your books and your education here at the college. And that combination of learning and earning is what makes LEAP so important and such a good opportunity. It's something that I believe not enough people have had the privilege to experience. You can actually make money while you're learning and going to school and graduate debt free. And I think that's a pretty good proposition and return on investment. Um, it also speaks to your dedication and your willingness to work hard as well as your desire to build a strong foundation for your future. So we are very proud to have you at Forsyth Tech. Congratulations and thank you for choosing LEAP and Forsyth Tech. And as you embark on this path, I also want you to know that you are never alone when you are a trailblazer here with us at Forsyth Tech. You're part of a community, and a community that values you and your growth, your determination, and your resilience. So each and every day, I know you're going to gain new skills, new insights, and all of those are going to help you become a better worker, a more confident and capable individual. The knowledge and experience that you gather here will be with you for the rest of your life, 
It's going to guide you through challenges and help you seize even more opportunities. The commitment that you've shown by entering the program, again, is going to open doors, and every new skill you learn, every challenge you overcome, is going to bring you one step closer to achieving your goals. And as you grow, you'll find that those goals will expand and new opportunities will present themselves. For those of you who I think are mostly in the middle here that have completed this program with us, please know that we are so very Forsyth Tech proud of your journey. We believe in your poten potential and we're committed to supporting you now. So don't think that this is the end of your journey with Forsyth Tech. We hope that you know that we're always going to be here and always be ready to be a part of your lifelong <coughs> journey of learning. This program was designed to give you the tools that you're going to need to succeed, but it's also your drive and your determination that has made the difference and that has brought you here today as successful completers of the LEAP program. So all of you, as you move forward, please keep pushing yourself. My advice is to stay curious, stay committed, and remember that every effort you make today is an investment in your future. Your hard work is going to pay off, and all of us here at Forsyth Tech can't wait to see what you're going to accomplish from here. So congratulations again on this incredible achievement. We're excited to watch you grow and succeed in the days and months and years ahead. It is now my great privilege to welcome to the podium again County Commissioner Tanya McDaniel and also Forsyth Tech Board of Trustee member Tanya McDaniel. Thank you, Dr. Spriggs. It's always a pleasure to be with Forsyth Tech, and my heart is always happy. I have a, a little bit of a story before um, I get into my congratulations to you, but my daughter, who is a graduate, she started here at Forsyth Tech, and now she's working on her doctorate. So I'm just here to encourage you. I love this place. Um, she wanted me when she first decided to go to school, she says, Mom, would you sign this application so I can go to one of those private schools? I said, no. I said, let's try, let, let, let's try um, a technical school. There's nothing wrong with this school. It'll help you, catapult you to the next level if that's what you want to do. So your proud auntie is proud of you today, if you, if you will. Nevertheless, happy Wednesday. Today is a day of celebration. And as we celebrate, the partnerships, the commitment, and opportunities from across Forsyth County, the Learn and Earn Apprenticeship Program, which we call LEAP, is a demonstration of our shared dedication in shaping our workforce in the future. Fostering local talent and driving Forsyth County's growth and prosperity, the apprenticeships represent hope and opportunity. They provide students with a chance to step confidently into the futures, giving them a head start in the careers without burden of those overwhelming student debts. Apprenticeships also enable employers to shape and mentor the next generation of talent, ensuring that skills and knowledge are finally tuned to those needs of our industries. To the new 34 apprentice, Today, we celebrate you committing to yourselves, your families, the future filled with promise and potential. You are starting a journey of growth by choosing to gain invaluable skills, working alongside industry veterans, immersing yourself in world problems. Your path is not just about learning. You are going to innovate, problem solve, and make tangible impact on day one. To those who have completed your apprenticeship and receiving your journey worker credentials, congratulations. Earning your nationally recognized credential is a testament of your commitment to mastering your gift through rig rigorous training and high quality mentorship. This achievement signifies your hard work dedication and perseverance, marking your readiness to excel as your skilled professions in your fields. 
We are deeply proud of your achievements, but more importantly, I am proud of you, and so should you be proud of yourselves. To the employer partners, thank you. Thank you for your investment in these students. The practical experiences, membership, continued support will serve these students and communities for years to come. We appreciate your role, not just as an employer of Forsyth County, but value, vital partners in, in sharing growth and opportunities. For SciTech staff, faculty, and friends in the community, it takes a village. Your unwavering dedication to the success of students are integral to the program's achievements. These, these students today are joining 144 former LEAP apprentices since the start of 2019. From recruiting businesses, fundraising, and supporting students during these two years, and everything in between, LEAP is life-changing life because it's up to you. Our apprentices today represent a vibrant travesty, I'm sorry, of careers, and please forgive my voice, I am a little hoarse from machinists to medical assistants to automotive technici technicians and IT professionals. They come from a diverse backgrounds of ages and experiences embodying the spirit of inclusive opportunities uh, for Site Tech and for Site County. So your achievements are powerful reminders that success is not confined by industry in age, gender, race, but is not confined in those areas. And in closing, on behalf of the Forsyth County Commissioners, I extend a heartfelt congratulations to you all, the graduates, for your profound gratitude, my profound gratitude to everyone who has supported your journeys, teachers and all. Your hard work and your dedication are blazing the trail for bright and promising futures. Here's to the continued transformative impact to apprenticeships and all futures that are shaping, we are shaping together. Thank you so very much for allowing me to share, and again, I congratulate you. I think at this time, thank you very much. At this time, we're bringing um, Mr. Dan Bryant. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner McDaniel. My name is Dan Bryant, and I'm the Apprenticeship Coordinator for LEAP at Foresight Tech. It's been an honor and a privilege to work on behalf of this great program, comprising hardworking, industrious student apprentices and committed, thoughtful, and forward-thinking employer partners. While I do need to keep my remarks brief, I also want to take a minute and recognize Angelica Webster, our exceptional apprenticeship specialist and an exemplary contributor to all facets of the LEAP program. Without Angelica's help, we couldn't do what we do, and even that's an understatement. Now to our newest apprentices, we will now begin by recognizing you all. Um, so as we call your name uh, and introduce you, please enter the stage to your right, my left, receive your certificate from and pause for a photo with Dr. Spriggs before uh, finally exiting to the signing table where you'll meet with Laura Brown, who's so graciously got her hand up over there, and your uh, employer mentor uh, will meet you at the table to sign in our LEAP book. And uh, to the mentors and employer partners out there, if you could please be prepared to meet those apprentices at the table and sign with them, that would be great. All right, so without further ado, let's announce our new apprentices. All right, Will Deaton. Will is one of, our, uh, uh, one of an inaugural cohort of Computed Tomography, or CT, technology apprentices. He is most looking forward to learning about the intricacies and physics of CT. Will will be apprenticing as CT technologist at Atrium Wake Forest Baptist. Congrats, Will. <laughs> Jessica Huggins. So Jessica, she joined LEAP to be able to get classroom education while also being able to keep her full-time job. Ooh, mouse is floating. 
Jessica will be uh, apprenticing also as a CT technologist at Atrium Wake Forest Baptist. <laughs> Jacob Matthews. Jacob is looking forward to expanding his career and education in radiology. Jacob will be apprenticing as a CT technologist working for Atrium Wake Forest Baptist. Congrats, Jacob. <laughs> Elijah Wintank. Elijah is looking forward to learning the ins and outs of the MRI world and how to better lead his team. Elijah will be apprenticing as an MRI technologist at Atrium Wake Forest Baptist. All right, next. Willie Muzon, the second, actually. So Willie, Willie mentioned he was excited about LEAP as he didn't want to miss a great opportunity. Willie also completed our summer pre-apprenticeship class this year in automotive and will be apprenticing as a diesel mechanic at Best Logistics. <laughs> Pedro Valentin. Pedro joined LEAP in the hopes of gaining as much experience and understanding in the field of diesel. And we're going to give it to him. He is apprenticing as a diesel mechanic apprentice at Best Logistics. Congratulations, Pedro. <laughs> Richard Salise. Richard says that LEAP is a great opportunity that will allow him to successfully change his career. He's very grateful for all the resources that LEAP offers to make this possible. Richard will be apprenticing with Bob King Automotive as an automobile body repairer. Congratulations, Richard. <laughs> Eric Morales. Eric is most looking forward to having the experience and being independent and being able to solve problems by himself. Eric will be apprenticing as an automotive technician apprentice at Bob King Automotive. John Petropolis. John came to us after having worked at his family's restaurant for many years, which if you can survive that business, you're doing great. John, John will be apprenticing as an industrial maintenance technician with Corning Optical. Congratulations, John. <laughs> Joseph Valine. Joseph joined LEAP because he saw the opportunity to get his degree in the current field in which he's employed. Joseph will be apprenticing as an industrial maintenance technician at Herbalife. Well done, Joseph. <laughs> Isaias Balderas. Let's find you on here. Isaias is most looking forward to learning the tips and tricks to welding and fabrication and will be apprenticing as a welder fabricator at Mazella Piedmont. Way to go, Isaias. Felipe Cruz, where are you, Felipe? There you are. Felipe decided to join LEAP to try and learn something new. Felipe will be apprenticing as an automotive technician at Parrish Tire Company. <laughs> Nate Weeks? I must have added that by accident. That's okay, no worries. Alessandro Gallardo Ramirez. Alessandro, we got to know over the summer. He also uh, attended our pre-apprenticeship in transportation technology. And we're excited to watch where his education and training take him as he'll be apprenticing as a diesel mechanic at Salem National Lease. All right, Caleb Lowe. Caleb pursued LEAP because he wanted a job where he could work with his hands. He wanted job experience and wanted to put himself in a position where he can have a good job when he's out of school and use what he's going to school for. He will be apprenticing as a CNC machinist at Siemens Energy. <laughs> Brian Thompson. Brian pursued LEAP to receive added knowledge in his chosen career path in addition to, in his words, an awesome education. 
Brian will be apprenticing as an industrial maintenance technician working for TE Connectivity. All right, Alan King. Alan joined LEAP as it was an apprenticeship program offered through his employer. He's most looking forward to gaining a better understanding of his chosen career pathway. Alan will be apprenticing as a tool and die maker for TE Connectivity. <laughs> Zalea Murray. Zalea is looking forward to getting in the field and running presses and being able to read blueprints and make them. Zalea will be apprenticing as a tool and die maker working for TE Connectivity. Marvin Nesbitt. All right, Marvin decided to join LEAP to progress within the stamping field at his, at his current company, TE Connectivity. Marvin will be apprenticing as a tool and die maker. Way to go, Marvin. <laughs> Sierra Anderson. Sierra is most looking forward to learning as many skills as she can and enjoying her job, while also looking forward to a rewarding career in a good company that allows her to spend time with her family. Sierra will be apprenticing as an industrial maintenance technician working for Thermcraft. <laughs> Kyle Fort. Kyle is looking forward to learning and growing while enrolled at Foresight Tech and the LEAP program. Kyle will be apprenticing as an industrial maintenance technician working for Thermcraft. <laughs> Micah McLeod. Micah is most looking forward to gaining as much experience and understanding in his field. Micah will be apprenticing as a welder fabricator working for Thermcraft. And Aaron Ramsey. Where is Aaron? There he is. Aaron is looking forward to gaining as much knowledge as he can and meeting new people. Aaron will be apprenticing as a CNC machinist working for Zeal Abeg. Congratulations, Aaron. <laughs> At this time, I would ask we give one more round of applause for our new apprentices at Foresight Tech. Let's hear it from late arrivals. Angelica's going to give me their name and I'll read theirs real quick. Evan Shores from Best Logistics. Congratulations to all of you. Good afternoon, my name is Danielle Rose. I'm the Director of Experiential Learning here at Forsyth Tech. And this afternoon, we're thrilled to also recognize our largest yet group of LEAP apprentice completers. So these completers have met all instructional and on-the-job training requirements, and they are receiving their journey worker credentials today from both the North Carolina and the United States Departments of Labor. So this is a really big deal. We're really excited. Um, I'd like to invite Amy Davis Moore, the Communications Director with Apprenticeship NC on stage to join Dr. Spriggs, and we will present uh, their journey worker credentials. 
So journey workers, I know you're spread out. As I call your name, please come on up on stage to receive your credentials and take a photo. And for the employers in the room, uh, since they don't go to the table and sign, we're gonna welcome you guys on stage too. So they're grouped together by employer. So come on up and, and we'll just have one large photo with each journey worker um, and celebrate these accomplishments. All right. Corey, are you doing the slides or am I? Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with um, Luis Andreu. Luis, are you here? I believe I added that by Okay, no worries, no worries. All right, Caleb Knight. All right. Apple Kilby. Well, okay, the good news is they're at work. That's why they're not here, so. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Elizabeth Schultz. I know this person is here, so I'm gonna go ahead. Chase Holt. I know I saw you, perfect. So. <laughs> A highlight of this past year was expanding our partnership with the City of King. Chase completed his apprenticeship with the City of King Police Department, and he's now a journey worker police officer. Houston Robertson. You can say it. Houston was in our inaugural cohort of police apprentices and is now a journey worker police officer. He also completed his apprenticeship with the City of King Police Department. <laughs> Michael Anderson. Michael is the first apprentice to complete an apprenticeship right here at Forsyth Tech. He is now a journey worker police officer after completing an apprenticeship with the Forsyth Tech Campus Police Department. <laughs> Eric Munoz. Eric studied mechatronics engineering technology while at Forsyth Tech and is now a journey worker industrial maintenance technician. He completed his apprenticeship at Grass America. <laughs> Killian Quayle. If Killian looks familiar to some of you, it's because he was the star of our first LEAP marketing video. Killian is a journey worker, CNC machinist who apprenticed at Grass America. <laughs> Dylan Bodenheimer. Dylan was recruited into the LEAP program by his employer, Herbalife, and is now a journey worker, industrial maintenance technician. Rachel Nealis. Rachel also apprenticed at Herbalife where she was already employed and selected to enroll in the LEAP program. She is also now a journey worker industrial maintenance technician. Chris Slesman. We first met Chris two summers ago during our production technician program before he landed an apprenticeship at Pepsi Bottling Ventures. He is now a journey worker industrial maintenance technician. <laughs> Jacob Sumner. Jacob completed the diesel and heavy equipment program as part of LEAP and apprenticed at Salem National Lease. He is now a journey worker diesel mechanic. <laughs> Chris 
Corinne Emerson. Corinne is the first apprentice to be hired by Salem One. She studied mechatronics and is now a journey worker industrial maintenance technician. Jay Garcia. Jay studied mechanical engineering technology and is now a journey worker quality control technician, completing his apprenticeship with Siemens Energy. Madison Castellano. We first met Madison as a pre-apprentice before she completed an apprenticeship at Siemens Energy. She is now a journey worker quality control technician. <laughs> Isaiah Robinson. Isaiah was recruited into the LEAP program by his employer, TE Connectivity, where he completed his apprenticeship and is now a journey worker industrial maintenance technician. Justin Stimson. Justin completed his apprenticeship at Thermcraft after landing the position during our summer pre-apprenticeship. He is now a journey worker, industrial maintenance technician. <laughs> Shannon Marie Alicia Whedon. Shannon Marie was enrolled in the IT Network Management degree as part of LEAP and apprenticed at Xeris. She is now a Journey Worker Network Coordinator. So as you saw, there are a handful of journey workers and a few new apprentices that were unable to be here to today due to conflicts in their work shifts. Um, these journey workers will be presented with their credentials soon, so don't worry, we didn't, didn't forget them. Um, so in closing, there are so many people here at Forsyth Tech that support our apprenticeship program. Thank you to all of our faculty and staff in the room that support us each and every day. One of our biggest cheerleaders is Dr. Alan Murdoch, Forsyth Tech's Chief Economic Mobility and Workforce Outcomes Officer, um, who I will now turn it over to for some closing remarks. Thank you. <laughs> Somehow I keep pulling the uh, last straw when it comes to uh, speaking in front of the group. I'm not sure how that happened, but we're going to talk about that in the future. I'm not going to keep you too long. I'm going to say a couple of things, a couple of thank yous, and then I'm going to say some really corny stuff that I hope you remember because it's, because it's awful. Um, thank you to our employers. Dan was telling me there are over 20 employers here today. That's awesome. Thank you for invest, investing in our students and in yourselves. Um, we can't do it without you. I think we also have county commissioners here, county staff. and It's standing room only in the back. It's awesome. I want to say a special congratulations to our journey workers. You did it. I don't know if you knew that two or three years ago. You did it. You're done. Well, you're not really done. There's more to learn. So keep coming. And tell us your stories. Sometimes you guys disappear. We want to know about what's happening with you. How are you slowly taking over the world? And then now for our new ones. The 30, was it correct? 30 new apprentices? I've got something to say to you. And this is where it's going to get a little corny. And I wanted it to be so that you would remember it. So here it goes. I will tell you this. My boss is sitting here. If it's bad, she will let me know. You don't have to tell me. All right? But here it is. I think you are all in a moment. I'm going to focus my attention over here. You're in a moment. Can you guys hear me? You okay? There's tons of moments, millions of moments. 
Most of those moments go by and we don't even realize it. I'm going to have a moment tonight when I decide whether I'm going to have chicken or fish for dinner. It's important to me at the time, but it doesn't change my trajectory. You're in a moment that will change your trajectory. And so I want to talk about that a little bit, dig a little bit into that in a corny way so that you remember. We just had the Olympics, and one of the sports was diving. You guys ever been on a diving board? You know what I'm talking about? I'm not talking about the Olympic diving board that sits flat and you just jump off and do your thing. I'm talking about going to your neighborhood pool, your friend's house, and the diving board where you jump on it real hard and it folds down and it throws you up in the air. That type of diving board. Everyone familiar with that? Is that a foreign concept? Okay. So, using the diving board, I think there's four steps. Step one, get on the diving board. Step two, jump real hard, right? The harder you jump, the further up you go. Step three, fly high. Wave to your friends, catch a ball, do a flip, whatever. And fourth step, <laughs> splash. Make a splash in the, in the pool or the ocean, wherever you're at. This is the corny piece, right? I mean, how's this guy gonna tie this into my apprenticeship? Well, here's how I'm gonna do this. You're in a moment, and maybe it's not one moment, maybe it's a thousand moments, but you're in a moment now where you have a decision to make. You showed up today, you're on the diving board. You've already completed step one, you showed up. And you signed up for a leap, right? Learning an apprenticeship. Step two, I said jump, but we're not gonna jump, we're gonna leap because it's learn and earn an apprenticeship. You're gonna leap on that board. Here's where you make your decision. How hard am I gonna leap? How much effort am I gonna put into this? Am I gonna put in my heart and soul, my character, my work ethic, my whatever, name a thousand other things that make up you, or are you gonna put it all into that jump, into that leap? Because you know, when you hit hard and it goes down, there's that second where you're not going down, you're not going up, you're just there. And that's when people will be looking. And at some point, the diving board, typically made out of fiberglass, not fiberglass now, is going to spring up and propel you up into the air. I said, you know, the diving board is typically made out of plexiglass. We don't have a plex or plexiglass, uh, fiberglass. We don't have a fiberglass diving board. We have a, I'm gonna call this a success ecosystem created by Daniel Rose and team, right? When I say success ecosystem, it's ecosystem, it's 20 plus employers that showed up today. We're not paying them. It's county commissioners, county staff showing up today. It is faculty and staff lining the back of this room. It's your peers. It's your friends and family that showed up today to see you uh, succeed. When they throw you up in the air, when they propel you, that's when you're gonna have your opportunity to do something. I mentioned earlier that you could catch a football. You could do a flip. Well, maybe in the work environment, you're not catching a football or doing a flip. Maybe you're uh, presenting to uh, the administration. Maybe you're getting to use software that no one else gets to use yet. Or you get the first one to take a crack at a piece of machinery. There's opportunities for you to shine. And then when that is done, you're going to make a splash. I hope you make a big splash. All right? And here's what I'm saying when I say, I hope you make a big splash. That you come to me two or three years from now and say, Dr. Murdoch, I did it. And here's my splash. I earned a two-year degree from Forsyth Technical Community College. I'm leaving here with zero debt. I have two years of, or three years of work experience. I'm in a career. I'm working for a company that respects me, and I see a future. That's a big splash to me. I hope yours is even bigger. So to wrap this up, this is the easy part. When you get on that diving board every morning, leap hard, fly high, big splash. Good night.